uh, one of the things I like about Google uh, SketchUp is that it's after a while it starts becoming very uh, intuitive um, for example I'm making some modifications to this uh, lid instrument case lid and I wanted to change the height of these posts now in a previous video I found that I had to um, select I'll just uh, grab zoom properly in a previous video I had to select it all and make it as one component each step of the way so that um, the STL file that was created uh, printed properly um, but if to, to actually adjust the size of a component uh, a subcomponent I had to um, explode a couple of times run this select and then explode and go through a couple of times until I could actually uh, pick out individual faces again um, and now to adjust this, basically um, I go to the extrude but push sorry push pull button or sometimes known as extrude and click on that face and drag it down. And actually you can write in, type in on your keyboard the depth that you want it to go down to. So I want to shorten that by 10 millimeters and it's done. And I'm thinking this line here is a is actually a leftover um, of uh, when I was marking the centers of these holes. So I use this line here to do that. So I could actually I think I could delete that because um, they're not necessary. That's just a leftover, really. grab this one too and then basically get it all together and um, if I'm happy with that just escape to get out of that function back to the pointer select it all and then um, it's either make component or make group I've actually forgotten uh, which one it was. So what I'll do is I'll just save it. Save as revision 3. Yep. And select all. Make component. Uh, no, I don't remember this pop-up menu, so what I'll do is I'll just cancel that. I think it was make group. So there you go. It's all one. It's all combined together now as one item. So hopefully now that will um, print out properly on my um, dimensional 3D modeler. And you can see I've got some embossed writing, which I don't think was there before. All I did there was I just draw and um, oh, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah, 3D text and just write the text in, specify height and size um, and then just place it on that on that level there which I'm not going to do because I've already got my text in there yeah so that's it pretty much save and tools export STL save and if I pull up that folder I should have okay so it'll be in this one here There we go, there's my STL file, so I'll go and print that out now.